and then it won't give you that error. So that error is like a seatbelt. The error warning, the, the warning error thing that you get is like wearing a seatbelt in a car. If you put it on and you have an accident, it might help you. But no one would ever think, oh, I've got a seatbelt on, now I can drive like a lunatic. Well, no. <laughs> You're all 20-year-old. Okay. But in 10 years' time, <laughs> Because in my dim dusk distant past, I used to do some work with insurance company analyzing crash statistics. There's this amusing thing called the curve of deaths. Has anyone ever seen the curve of deaths? You plot deaths by age, by gender. And the curve of deaths looks something like this. If this is the number of dead, and this is the number of people, no, this is the age, then the curve of deaths is quite high uh, when you're born, like there's a high sort of infant mortality, then it drops very low, and it slowly gets higher and higher until you're like about 50. Oh, 70, 100 or something. Sort of like that sort of curve. Oh, that's the curve for women. The curve for men is identical, except... <laughs> and between about 17 and 25, men just die like flies from car accidents. And it's completely <laughs> freaking. And actually, on the um, girl death curve, there is what we call the passenger hump, which there is a slight hump carried across there. So if you're a guy, uh, which you'll know that, yourself, <laughs> please be careful when you drive, because just there's this brief period of time where you do think you're immortal and you're slightly insane. <laughs> when you get to my age, you're just slightly stupid and, and you're sane again. Oh, I think I'm, well, you know. Yeah.